What's going on, everybody? Kind of an early morning for me, but yeah, uh, I was up early yesterday. Uh, everybody knows was at the show up in Louisville set up, and it was really good up there for the show. I mean, they were pretty busy up till about noonish, and then it started dying down, of course, because we had uh, horse racing going on, stuff like that around the area. So I packed up, headed on back, and I'm still going through stuff, uh, trying to figure out where. Oh, I'm going to put it up for sale. I mean, to my right, it's just stacks of stuff. But um, I got a few video clips this time of one my display and a few other displays when I did get a chance to walk around. And honestly, I thought I was going to have more time when I originally got set up because when they said uh, set up, you can start setting up at 7. I figured most of the dealers were going to get there between 7 and 7.30 and be set up. And you'll see. In the first video clip, uh, it might have been about 30% was there, roughly, uh, already being set up or in the process of setting up. And so I didn't get a whole lot of uh, footage then, and every time I'd start walking around, you know, it, it's just usually what happens. People come to your table, they start looking, you got to make your way back over to it. Uh, Towards the end, a lot of people already were packed up and left by the time I had all my stuff packed in, uh, into the car to where I could walk around. So there were, there were some good tables out there. Uh, there. You'll see in one video clip, there was a guy who had a lot of basketball. And I'm talking, he had Zion Heavy. And it, a lot of it was not graded. Um, I wanted to try to get a deal done with him, but he ended up taking out right before me. So didn't really get to do much there. There was a few of you guys that stopped by, said hello and everything. I do appreciate it. Um, worked out some deals. I'll show those right after the video runs here. So I'm going to cut right here to the video. And you guys get to see pretty much there's some still pictures of my display. And I mean, I brought a lot of stuff with me um, to try to move to start circulating more newer product in between the store and everything. But check out the video real quick here, and then I'll be right back.
All right, everybody. So pretty much gives you an idea. There was 50 total tables there. I would probably venture around 30 dealers because some guys had two or three tables there, a lot of single tables. Um, they were all eight footers. But let's get to what uh, some of the stuff is that I picked up. And I got to grab my phone real quick because a couple dudes had me on Instagram. And I need to make sure I give proper recognition here. And, of course, the pug has just claimed territory here now, <laughs> as always. So right off the bat, early in the morning, when you see the first video, this is what I picked up. And it's just some of the stuff that I've been a fan of for a while. So this here, this Kobe Bryant is from, I want to say it's 0203 or 0304 tops. But it has that hollow background for Justice of the Court. Always like this card. I mean, it's nothing huge. Um, I don't know if it, you know, if we get a grade, if it's going to be something crazy or not. But I wanted to grab it just because a lot of people were out after the hollows of uh, Kobe and LeBron and stuff back in the day. Picked up another uh, Kobe. This is a the a rookie card of him. And what is this rookie card? Let me look here. Now I'm starting to feel like it's not. <laughs> I forgot upper deck was tricky. Yeah, this should be rookie year. I'm almost positive it is. Because this says all rookie second team for Garnett, O'Neal, and Kobe. I don't know, it's early guys, and for some reason it just dawned on me it might not be, but it is. It's the rookies. So this here was just a single that I picked up. And then I picked up the whole set too. And this is from uh, Upper Deck that year. Oh, boy. Camera just went crazy on me. Here we go. So, 96-97, complete set. And those are all the tri cards, and you got Jordan stuff like that. Really, really good deal onto that. Um, I couldn't pass it up. Even though some of the stuff might not grade out, it's just stuff that I want to hold on to. Just more, I don't want to say everything's always PC with me, because I really only PC a couple, like, couple players four-ish um mostly but i always do pick up odds and ends that i like to have and hold because it just brings back you know the childhood memories on to it uh had somebody come by a table and they were uh selling stuff really really cheaply so i wanted to grab some stuff for the auction so with this stuff here guys um if you want this stuff in the auction let me know uh in the video comments please because I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this yet. If it's going to go store or, you know, just try to auction it off. So, starting it off, two Ben Simmons rookie cards. One is Don Russ, and the other one is out of us, uh, totally certified. These here are, uh, were the ones that I consider to be in his best condition they had uh, there. So, I mean, to me, they... Probably will grade one. I mean, I didn't put them under microscope or nothing like that. This was just after the old eye test on to it, honestly. So, let me get my focus back because I have one in each hand here. So, again, it'll be Don Russ and then um, Kelly Certified Rookie. So, like I said, if you guys want to just put Simmons or whatever in the comment. That way I know. Next up, Dirk Rookie from Tops. And, I, I don't know, Dirk should be taken off here eventually one time because... Guy was a beast, just to be honest. Christian Yellick, uh, Bowman Chrome rookie card. Fournette, Silver Prism rookie. Baker Mayfield. This is from Unparalleled. Once I get the focus back. And boom. Unparalleled rookie card. And then uh, Stanton. Been pretty surprisingly well, as long as he stays healthy and stuff. But this is the Topps Chrome Rookie. There we go. I oh, what's up with the focus this morning on this stuff. So if anybody wants any of them in the auction, just put them in the comment. You know, whatever the last name was and stuff. And then that way I know to add it to the auction on Friday. But I guess as I'll pick it up different odds and ends of stuff. And whenever you start finding deals and batches... Um, you just, you know, start throwing it all together, thinking maybe somebody else would want this stuff. 
And normally I would probably look for more, you know, stuff that I could grade, but with a lot of the companies shut down, it's kind of hard. All right, James uh, that's uh, on the channel stopped by, picked up some stuff from him. And I don't know why this is flickering on my computer, so give me a second here, guys. Move it on to the other screen. There we go. So first off the bat, Nolan Ryan SP from last year's Tops. This is a uh, PC on to me. I always like these cards. Uh, you know, I haven't really picked up a whole lot of newer Nolan Ryan stuff. But this here, I just I had, couldn't pass up because otherwise I'd go on eBay and have to buy one. So I'd rather, you know, get it from somebody else that's in the group. I know. They brought, I know it's not Topps Chrome Sapphire, but it's my other addiction, if everybody knows, is the Rip cards. So Ty Cobb. And these are from 2017 Bregman. And then this year's was uh, Joe Morgan. So I haven't decided if we're going to rip or not on these. Um, if you guys want me to rip these and do a video, I can do that. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Oh, there it is up on top there. If you guys want me to do a video ripping these, I can do it. Let me know in the comments. Something different, it'd be three of them. And there's one card in particular I'm looking from this year, and every time it's popped off, uh, basically my bid always gets outbid. Even if I go over to last sale 10 bucks, it, it always somehow loses out. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing the video on those being ripped, I can do that. All right, let me grab my phone here because. I'm going to try to put something on the screen real quick with this guy's Instagram if you guys want to follow him. He has a lot of nice cards. And we end up working a pretty good deal out to show. Everybody remembers that playbook Herbert uh, out of 99 I had. I'm trying to figure out Instagram on my phone, man. I'm not real good in this stuff. How do you... Oh, it's over here. All right. So it's K Kentucky KY, then an underscore card guy. And it'll, I'll put a thing up on the screen so you can see. We worked out a pretty good deal um, on, the, on the, some trading, some cash for this. So this is something I like these cards. So from 1819 Panini Threads, there we go. These are the Dazzles, and this is Trey Young. I am a firm believer Trey Young is very, very underpriced right now for what he does. I, I have no idea why his stuff is so far behind Luka other than he's on a crappy team. That's the only thing I can come up with. And I know that if you're an Atlanta fan and stuff like that, it you know, it sucks hearing stuff like that. But that's the only thing I can come up with. I mean, the guy is a straight baller out there. Um, so I picked this up. I'm going to hold on to this one here. The, this here, I, I, the Luca sells, I want to say it's like 1200 ish maybe more, maybe less, but I know it's expensive compared to Trey Young. And if you look at a lot of Trey Young stuff, it, it's really cheap right now. It's almost like going after Morant, but Morant just don't have the numbers that Trey Young has and what he's doing for the team. So this one here, just because it's not really considered a base, it's the Dazzles. And they have, like, the Gold Dazzle, I believe, and stuff like that there. And just so you guys know, these are the ones that have the jersey things on the back. Really cool card. This is going to be uh, kept and tucked away for a while. This other one will probably be Auction. This is from Revolution. Now, this is the uh, insert, the Rookie Revolution of Trey Young. These are still very, very cheap on the market as well, too. So even if you don't win this in the auction, I'd start looking at Trey Young. Um, I usually don't give stuff out like pointers and, you know, I'll go buy this dude and that dude and everything else. But I really think Trey Young is the biggest buy, one of the biggest buys out there. I know a lot of people are going to say Jokic is. And then, um, oh, I can still see the picture of the Prism rookie card that I was sitting there talking with somebody about it. I almost picked it up till I saw the marks and the divots in it. It's just not even hitting me because I think uh, he once he hits playoff, I can't even think who it is now. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. It's just one of them days because uh, so much stuff that has to be done. 
Wow, I'd have to go through all the basketball teams. I can't remember. There's a bunch of dudes, I think, that have a good possibility of picking up. I mean, Morant's stuff is cheap. I don't know if his knee injury hindered him during this year and he lost a lot of confidence or what, but you look, Morant's numbers are nothing like Trey Young's is here, especially during his uh, second year. But I would always look at stuff like that out there, especially dudes that are destroyed. I've seen it on the show. A lot of people, basketball-wise, were looking for Porter Jr., um, Julius Randle, uh, jo the Joker, Jokic, and there's one more they were coming around asking about. It's just not hitting me. It's not Kawhi. It's one of them first-year prism dudes, and I I just cannot picture. I could see the card, but I just can't picture the dude's name at all. It's just one of them mornings. Football-wise, Jordan Love, Herbert were like the two biggest ones out there that everybody wanted. My Jordan Loves didn't even last in the table 30 minutes. Not even 30 minutes, to be honest. Um... And that's just one of those things I try to tell people. There's certain cards when you have them that are numbered, autographed, and stuff like that. You hold. Just don't settle for, you know, whatever you can get on it. Because there's going to be a time when those dudes are hot out there. And at the same time frame, it's a limited card. I mean, you either got to look at pop levels, serial numbers, autographs, stuff like that. That makes the card a little bit more rare than, you know, the base or... You know how they flood the market this year with field level selects, um, silver prism, stuff like that there. Because those have now become an abundance out there versus, you know, cards that are um, basically serial numbered and stuff. You know, you, you know what the pop level is on to them. But that's pretty much all I picked up yesterday. I mean, more than what I normally pick up at the shows because... I'm very thankful that people brought stuff with them to me at my table so I could look at it, work out deals and stuff like that. And there was a lot of people like that out there this time versus what I've seen in the past, which is a good thing. Um, I know a lot of people are afraid of the market dipping down. That That's just what was one of the hugest topics out there. And the best thing that I told people out there I can see the market dip in different aspects and other aspects that rise. You're always safer with low pop stuff, serial numbered stuff, and autograph stuff because there's always going to be a demand there versus where, uh, let's see, let me think of somebody out there. Like this year's select football is definitely overproduced unlike previous years, especially concourse. The field levels are new. Are, way more this year these new club levels and all that stuff there's a lot more abundance of it than it was previously and when you start looking at like optic and prism i'm looking more for the stuff that either comes in a select type of the product itself or i'm looking at like serial numbers or autographs because i know that stuff there's going to be more demanded than it would you know the base rookie cards and what the thing is, is like years prior, like we were talking about out there, was like, if you look at like 13, 14, 14, 15 prisms and stuff like that there, as we were getting that stuff back in the day, all those base rookies were thrown in boxes. And that's why you don't see a whole lot more tens out there, because that stuff there was thrown off to the side. Some people just tossed it in the garbage, to be honest, because nobody wanted it. So there's a little bit more value on that stuff there. But that was pretty much it, the show. I do appreciate everybody was able to stop by and, you know, or made the drive out there. It, it was a really good show out there, and I was happy with it. Um, the next one is July 24th out there, they told me. So that'll be the next show set update. So a little over two months, all because of the 4th of July weekend, and then they have to work around uh, two other shows. Um, it's not like the shows back in the day, guys, to where I was talking to a lot of the older dealers out there. Back in the day, like when I was in Atlanta doing card shows, there'd be like two or three card shows going on the same weekend. And they might be, you know, one might be all weekend, one might be a Saturday, there might be a Sunday. But you had multiple on the same day to where all the shows were booked out. I mean, like weeks in advance. To where now, you... 
don't try to run against anybody else because there's not a whole lot of people setting up at them. And if you never thought about setting up at a show, I, I go to a couple of them, look at what's there, evaluate if you think you know you're gonna have stuff that you can sell and push, and you'd be surprised at what people are buying out there. And give it a shot, set up at them. If you guys need links to display cases, I can give you the ones that I use. Um, uh, Penzoni is very, very good to me, and they've always shipped well, and their displays always do look nice and everything out there. But let me know, like I said in the comments, if you want the RIP video. If you want any of those other cards, uh, just put their last name for the auction. That way I know to set it aside for it. But I do appreciate everybody. I know this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, but a lot of stuff was going through my head. I wanted to hit on certain topics on, too. Just trends that I was seeing out there. Give people some heads up on, to The pickups. What was uh, available that I got to see out there. And then along with, you know, my aspect of uh, some of the players that, you know, are doing well. That just nobody's going after. Prices are, like, really low on them as well, too. All right, everybody. Have a good week. I, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Talk to y'all later.